When you are working to create a game environment or a custom asset set, such as static meshes, you'll be using multiple softwares. Software to model, to sculpt, to texture, and Unreal Engine 4. And you'll have to keep track and manage all of these files across all of the software, unless you have a system, a way to keep all of your files organized. And in this tutorial, I'll share what I currently use and how I set everything up. This is a system I'm using right now, but it's always evolving and improving. You don't have to use this specific way, and it's definitely not the only way. And actually, I just recently modified it from what I was using before. So before you start working on any game environment or custom assets project for Unreal Engine 4, here's what to do. On my E drive, I have projects folder. And inside this folder is where I keep all of my active projects. And right now, we want to set up a new project. So I'm going to create a new folder and decide on the project name. This could be anything you want. And for this video, I will use WOLD tutorials. I usually avoid having spaces in the name. And if I need some separation, I use dashes. So now this becomes my main folder for this project. It is where I will place Unreal Engine 4 content, Maya LT files, textures, and anything related to this specific project will go into this folder. Now inside this folder, I will create four additional folders. One for Maya LT. This folder will contain all of my LT project files. Then I'm going to create one for Unreal Engine 4. And this folder will contain all of Unreal Engine 4 related project files. Then I will also create textures for all of the texture related files and reference, which will contain image reference, concept art, and sketches. You could also create any other additional folders you need. Also, I'm going to create a document file and I'm going to name this WLD Tutorials Notes. And in this document is where I'll keep various notes on the project. Now I need to set up a project for Maya LT and for Unreal Engine 4. In Maya LT or Maya, go to File, Project Window, and click on New. Give the name of the project, and we're going to keep this consistent across all software. And in my case, it's WOLD tutorials. You want to define location where this project folder is going to be stored. Going to navigate to eDrive, projects folder, and go inside WOLD tutorials folder. Then into Maya LT folder. Click select. Double check. For primary project locations, these are default folders that Maya will create to organize its content. I'm going to keep everything at default, but if you know which folders you don't need, you can just simply remove the name and Maya won't create that folder. Once you're ready, click Accept. Now, inside our project folder, inside Maya LT, and inside WOLD Tutorials, we have Maya LT Project Directory. If you want to set Maya to an existing project, go to File, Set Project, and choose an existing Maya project folder. And then click Set. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. You now have set up Maya LT project. Next, we need to set up Unreal Engine 4 project. Open Unreal Engine Launcher and navigate to Library tab. Then launch Unreal Engine 4 version that you're going to work with. Use the drop down menu here or any icons here and click launch. Click over to new project and set up project options. In my case, I'm going to choose blueprint, first person shooter, desktop and console, maximum quality, and no starter content. I'm going to name the project WOLD tutorials. and set the location for the project to be stored in. Projects, WOLD Tutorials folder, Unreal Engine 4 folder, 
select it and click OK. Double check folder location, then click on create project. Now if I navigate into projects, WOLD tutorials and Unreal Engine 4 folder, we have our Unreal Engine 4 project set up. Now let's navigate into the main project folder and into textures folder. In here create three new folders. One for PSD, one for final textures, and one more for source textures. PSD will contain working texture Photoshop files. This folder will contain final textures and source textures will contain textures that you pulled from the internet that will become part of your working textures. Now let's go back out to our main project and into reference. In here I'm going to create two new folders. One for photo reference and one for concept art. All concept art, sketches, or inspiration for your project will go here, and any photo reference you collect will go in here. And now for our last part of the video, let me show you how I set up my LT and Unreal Engine 4 prior to beginning working on the project. In Unreal Engine 4, I disable real time to speed up the editor. Next, I like to disable autosave because I like to manually save my work. So I go to Edit, Edit the Preferences, Loading and Saving, and Disable Autosave. Next I expand Source Panel. I like to have this open because it's a lot easier to navigate inside the Content folder. Then I create a new folder inside Content. And name this after the project, WOLD Tutorials. And inside this folder, I create additional folders for custom content that I will import and content that I create for this project. So these folders are static meshes. Textures. Materials. Maps. And blueprint. Inside each of these folders, we'll import and create appropriate files to organize our content. You can create any more additional folders you need for your project. The reason I create all of these folders inside another folder is because it makes it easier for me to keep everything in one place, inside one folder, to copy and to share this one folder across other projects or with another person, and I can bring in additional content from another project while keeping everything separated. Also, if you close Unreal Engine 4 right now and reopen, these folders will be gone. So you should save something into them. Otherwise, Unreal Engine 4 will automatically delete them. Next, I create a new default level. You can use default or you can go ahead and start an empty level. If it's for static meshes, I usually use the default level. If it's for a custom game environment from scratch, then I use an empty level. I then set up human reference scale into the map to help me judge proportion and dimension of the game environment or the static meshes. For this, you can use a BSP brush or Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. For a BSP brush, choose geometry, drag BSP brush into the level, and change the dimensions to 60 across width and depth and 180 for height. This is the default size for human reference scale in Unreal Engine 4. Also you can use Unreal Engine 4 mannequin which is the option I prefer. To insert the mannequin go back out to Unreal Engine 4 launcher. Under library tab if you scroll all the way down you will see Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. This is what I use for scale reference. Now this is a full skeletal mesh that can be used for other things but I only use it for judging proportion and building the environment to scale. So click on add to project and select your project. Which one you want to add this mobile mannequin to? If you don't have this yet, 
you can download it for free by going to your marketplace and search for mannequin. And this icon will say free or download. And after clicking that, you'll be able to add it to any project. Back in Unreal Engine 4, you will see Unreal Engine 4 mannequin mobile folder. Select it and go inside mesh folder. And left click and drag mannequin mobile right inside your level. And now everything you create can be judged more accurately to a character scale. Last thing I do is I go to file, save current as, go to WOLD tutorials folder, maps, and save this level. And for the last step, I need to set up Maya LT. I'm going to remove some of the UI elements I won't be using, such as the time and the range slider. Let's go to Windows, UI Elements, going to disable time slider, range slider, and I'm also going to disable command line and help line. Do know that you have workspace layouts that you can change to model and standard, expert, sculpting, or UV editing. In perspective viewport, enable wireframe on shaded. And in orthographic viewports, enable wireframe. Make sure that you have Polycon display enabled. This should be on by default, but if you don't, go to display, heads up display, and enable poly count. Next, I need to make sure that my LT grid spacing matches Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Preferences, click over to Settings, and make sure that linear working units is set to centimeters. Then I'm going to go to Display, Grid, Options. I'm going to increase the overall size of the grid under length and width to 1000. I need to change subdivision to 1 and grid lines every units. This equals to the grid spacing set in Unreal Engine 4. Changing this value is the same as changing the grid spacing in Unreal Engine 4 here. I usually set this to 10, but I change it depending on what I'm working on. This will enable you to stay in the grid and maintain the same grid spacing as in Unreal Engine 4. Let's go ahead, apply and close. And now I'm going to create a human reference scale that will help me judge proportion and size inside Maya LT. I'm going to create a cube, change width and depth to 60 and change height to 180. Going to modify the pivot point to the bottom vertice, so I can align this scale box to the grid. Gonna have position it right here, pull off to the side, so I can create my objects here and have the reference scale right next to it to judge proportion. Rename this cube to scale, freeze transformations, Place it on its own display layer and rename this to Scale Rough. Save. And now I'm going to switch this over to R. This way I won't be able to select it. Let's go to File, Save Scene As, and save the Scene As Scale template. This will be saved inside a project folder, inside my LT, and inside scenes folder. I am now ready to begin working on my project. 